Hello, everybody. I'm sharing my, oh, what is this called? The Facebook header that I have on my personal page today. Um, first thing, because it's just a reminder for myself. Um, I put it up there just kind of for fun and to remind myself that uh, when I get sad, I need to stop being sad and be awesome instead. <laughs> so, and that it's a choice. But anyway, hello. How are you doing today? It is I just I, your friendly neighborhood Texas gal, uh, Margaret. Hello. So Sunday, it's Sunday, and we normally do, I normally do my week in review on Sunday, and so that's what we're doing today. I I also have a giveaway going on, which I'm going to knock out first things first, so that if you're here just to check out to see who won the giveaway, the flash giveaway, I'm going to have that done first thing, so you're not like digging around searching for it. Um, so yeah, um, also today, we can review... You know, I, I put, you know, come hang out for the week in reviews, the, the good, the bad, and the catatonic because I was meant to come live at one. And uh, I shared on my Instagram, also on uh, Facebook, that things have been really challenging in a surprising way. And so I was catatonic at one o'clock and needed time to rebrain. How do you, there, we need a new word for like rebooting your brain because it's not, I mean, it's kind of a computer. Rebraining, I had to rebrain before I could come live for a little bit. So, um, hello in the chat, thanks for being here everybody. I am live, so if you're watching later, go check out the chat that's going on over on the side and or down on the, and if you're on your phone, down below. Um, and if you are new here, welcome, I, I share everything. Let's just <laughs> let's just get that out there. I share it all. The good, the bad, the ugly, and I talk about my reselling. I talk about jewelry, merch by Amazon, and today I'll talk about getting catatonic. <laughs> so, um, all right, let's take care of this giveaway, and then I'll dive into the other stuff. Let's see. Oh, you know what I didn't do is pull that up. So let me open a new tab for fun because that's what we have to do. Um, the giveaway I'm doing because the channel reached 19,000 subscribers and I don't know, I feel so grateful because it's something that brings me so much joy and I wouldn't be able to do it if it weren't for you guys. Um, but we'll get into that too about, about it. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm just rambling. Okay, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> I'm trying to find a hi, hi everybody in the chat. I'm getting there. Y'all bear with me today. Thanks for the Mother's Day wishes and happy Mother's Day. I know Mother's Day can be a wonderful day, but also a painful day for people. I know um, just kind of off topic, but before I you know, had my boys, we had, we've had a lot of struggles. So I know that it can be painful for people as well. So, okay, let's do this uh, giveaway. So here we go. So the parameters where you had to comment about what you would want, what, what you enjoy about the channel or something else you'd like to see um, on the channel. So I'm doing pick a winner, uh, running a contest, pick a winner. Yes, let's do this, pick a winner. So Kathleen Merton, she says she likes the jewelry videos, but all your videos are good. Um, started with you, thought you were upbeat, still think you are. Thank you so much, Kathleen. So you have got seven days to get to me, Miss Kathleen, and then I can get the beautiful, where did it go? The beautiful necklace to you. Here it is. Um, so yeah, send me a message either on Facebook or um, on my email is texasgaltreasures at gmail.com. So either of those ways would be wonderful. And yeah, so that's awesome. Let's see in the chat. Hello from everybody. Kaylee says, love when you talk and open jewelry jar bags. This week, I'll probably do another one. Um, oh, it didn't let you go back and comment. Oh, darn, Brandy. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, listening while you're in the garden. Oh, oh, that sounds nice. It's actually getting warm and, and it's really humid outside today. Uh, all right. So... Well, I'm trying to decide what I should talk about first. I guess let's talk about just the week in review, and then I'll I'll unpack and you know, like deconstruct my brain for you. Um, so what's coming up? Okay, this last week I'm all over the place right now, you guys. Okay, I like to do week in review because I think it's important to take a moment to 
look at what, how your week has been and how you're going to improve it the next week or if things are going well, what you can do to keep it going in that right direction for the week um, coming up. So this last week was really, really rough. Um, I try to do it all. I guess we're just going to go there. <laughs> I try to do everything, you know, and I like to do all, but there have been extra things kind of thrown at us. We're moving right now, and I talked a little bit about this yesterday. You know, we moved before, but we never moved like this before. So it's, um, yeah, it's been really, uh, I don't even know. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to read what I wrote on Instagram. How about that? Because I don't want to start bawling for you guys. Okay, so uh, on I shared this on Instagram. Like, what consumes your mind controls your life. Um, and I put, I never have I felt this to be more true than right now. My own self-talk about how stressful life is right now with the move and separation from my family, etc., has absolutely changed me. I started having panic attacks again and insomnia. Um, and I said, I don't share this because I want pity. I know I have created this version of reality for myself by the perspective and the self-talk that um, has taken over the last few months. I know it's reversible. I've got to get my boat turned around and paddle the other way. Um, and basically reframe and put into check every word that I utter. So, yeah, it's just um, I've created this, like, reality prison stress sort of created it um, just because of the way I have it framed and and I thought I got it under control well maybe I did for a couple days but I guess it's not a, a easy you know I, I use the analogy of paddling a boat away from a waterfall you know there's going to be moments where you're paddling strong and that um, waterfall current is pulling you back um, and your arms might get tired and you gotta stop rowing for a minute, and so you start sliding back until you get the get those uh, oars going again. So I guess that's what's going on today. Is my my arms were getting tired, and I'm having to rest my arms. So yeah, the um, what I mean by that is just um, you know just saying to myself, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, that's kind of where I was at one o'clock today, laying in the bed, just like. I kind of went, I don't know how to put it, but catatonic, like, I just can't, I just can't, I just can't. It was that like, that was like the mantra going in my head was just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I just can't, I can't, I can't. So I'm laying there, um, I canting um, to myself. So it took a minute for me to, to, to snap out of it. Um, I had to go get some hot wings. We went and got wings last night. So I had to get my hot wings out to reheat and sit on the couch and, Watch uh, Uncle Steven and and try to get get out of it. Uh, he's not really my uncle. Anyway, Stephen Colbert. He always makes me laugh. So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, – I'm rambling. I'm so rambling. Okay. But that's what's been going on. Trying to – and that's the thing, too. Okay, so best to cut the things out that stresses me, Dan, Dan says. And, and, and so somebody had mentioned – this is kind of where this is going um, – so somebody mentioned, well, hey, just stop reselling right now. Stop video. Stop doing all the stuff. And I, yesterday I talked a little bit about, well, that is like I'm not. My stores are on vacation, so that's awesome. Um, but the but coming here, this is um, one of the highlights for me. And so when I say when I say that you guys, it wouldn't be possible without you and and. You do what you say I do for you, you do as much for me, like for me being able to be here and say um, what I'm saying right now, you know, just say like things are hard right now. This is real life. I can't, uh, it's not always sunshine and roses and, and everything, but this is one of the things that like I got dressed today because I knew I was going to see you, you know? I put on makeup and did my hair, you know, and that will help me feel better. Um, but because I knew, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do week in review today, I'm gonna do the giveaway, that's like something to look forward to, okay? Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, it's a mess around here, okay? This is my little corner that hasn't been touched yet, but it, 
Everywhere else, it looks like a tornado went through. Why is it so messy when you pack? Why? It seems like you're packing, right? Things are going into the box. And so it's like, should be, no. It's like, oh, well, this isn't fitting in the box. And oh, we need to wrap this up. So let's leave this over here. No, oh, that goes over there. And there's a pile over here. And ah, uh, so um, I feel for you. And then I had some people commenting about, you know, military families. Oh gosh, I just can't even imagine it. Um, yeah, thanks, Reggie. So I, I don't know, and I know a lot of people come and they want to see the upbeat me, and they want to, you know, everything's yay, everything's awesome, and Penelope, and um, which it, you know is there, but like right now, this is real. So, yep, that's what's happening right now. So okay, I'm gonna kind of leave that for a moment. Check the chat. Talk about a couple other things, and we'll see if anything else comes up. I do have some questions from. Q and A that I was gonna get to, and then, uh, but yeah, I just otherwise I would sit here and y'all would know something was the matter if I just like if I just sat here and just to said what I was gonna say and just all business. You would know, you know me. Okay. Um, Cheryl uh, said moving to moving here to another state. I've cried for two days, including today. We'll be separated from my husband. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, Randy's able to work here some. He's back and forth. So, like, he's been here for the last few days. He's going to be back again, you know, for part of this week also. So it's just – and but, but when he has to go, I feel like I'm being abandoned. And I – you know, and I, isn't, I know it's totally irrational, but I feel like I'm being left in the trenches, you know, and a I don't know. There's no other word I can like relate. And just like Grant, I feel like you're abandoned. You know, with this stress, with this hardship, with you know. And I know he's not. He has to do. You know. So and he's coming back, and just like he'll be back. And then, you know, it's. <sighs> but just having that person that you can tag off. You know, your turn, tag team. Your turn, go. You. You know. No, yeah. Okay. Um, can't, I, I just can't get it all done. Can't do everything. And um, hang on, looking in the chat. And then I got struck. Oh. Yeah, yeah. One witch lady tried to reply to that. Then I started to get too emotional doing it. I've been doing it on my own, but married because my hubby works away from home during the week and only home every other weekend. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, my gosh. Before that, it was away for months at a time. Now I'm like, we've never really had this kind of situation. So I feel for you and people that go through that and where they're, or if their husbands get deployed or your spouse gets deployed and or works away or single, just single parents, period, having to do everything all the time. It's just... Yeah. Um, Susan says, words of wisdom, restating the same issue in a positive light is important. And that's what I've been trying to do with my paddling the boat. Like, okay. And the thing is, it's all good stuff. It's not like we are having to move because we got evicted or we, you know, we're moving to a city that we want to move to. We, my husband got a really good job, a better job than he had before. He had been laid off from his other job. You know, his department got, um, outsource. So, I mean, everything's good. I mean, Austin is amazing and we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to getting a new house and I don't know. I mean, yeah, moving away from my parents can be hard, but we'll be closer to my sister. You know, it's just, I don't know. There's, uh, yeah. And overall it's a positive, it's going to be a positive thing. Um, Let's see. Um, looking in the chat. I want to make sure I hit everything in the chat before I move on. Sometimes you have to relax. Um, yeah, definitely. And, and that's the thing tomorrow. I told the guys, let's go. They want to go on a long bike ride. And then, like, I think maybe Wednesday this week, we're going to go hit a museum or get out of the, just get out of here. And you, my mom has offered to help get packers because we've been packing for almost, what, two months now, it feels like, a month and a half. And I feel like I'm just nowhere, anywhere. I'm not closer. I don't feel closer to being done, even though I know rationally I am. So 
I'm ready at that point. I was like, no, mom, I can do this. I can, I can. She's like, you are fried. You know, she even, she sees it. So I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. This, this little corner, I haven't packed up anything yet. Right. Yeah. Should be cleaner when it's packed up sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to one rich lady. You be you. I, I, and I think that there is that sort of feeling where like sharing too much, like some people say, you know, you don't have to share everything. Well, I don't share everything, okay? Yeah, there's plenty you don't hear. I don't even wanna like hint at it because that would be too much. But um, yeah, but I feel like it's real. Like if you saw me happy, happy, joy, joy all the time, or happy, happy, joy, joy all the time, then, then you would know it would be, um, I don't know, it, would, it wouldn't be real, so yeah. What did my kids get me for Mother's Day? Um, my husband got and the kids got me these earrings and they got me a nice card. They sent me, um, they got me these this bouquet of flowers. It's on the table. It's really pretty. And then they went for a bike ride yesterday and they picked flowers for me. They're sweet. They're sweet. Um, thanks, Marie. Oh, Murphy the Esky says, I tagged on Instagram for a cool ebook download I thought you might like. It is from a class I'm watching. Oh, thank you. I'll go check that out. Thank you. Everyone needs a break. How about take advantage of family? Yeah, I mean, my parent, my, my, my dad took James this morning, and they went fishing because that's the first time. My dad had knee, knee replacement. It was the first time he was able to go fishing. James loves to fish, so they went fishing. So we just had, you know, Mikey here and... I mean, I guess I could, but it's one of those, like, I don't want to burden anybody else. I can do it. But maybe you're right. Maybe I just need to go and say, hey, parents, can my kids come over here and hang out? Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, one which lady, sometimes you have to let things like pancakes or cereal for dinner, messy rooms are okay for the day. Well, I think that's part of the problem too, because their rooms, that was one of the first things we did, which was maybe a mistake on my part now that I'm looking back at it, is that we packed up their rooms first. So their rooms are totally empty, except for like a chair. And they moved into the room with me, because I thought that would make me feel better. We're all in the room together, and everything else, I'm just like trying to, Pack, 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 pack. And, and we're living out of one room, basically, which was maybe not the best idea. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I haven't been really cooking a lot either. It's been a lot of tostadas, tacos, rotisserie chickens from the store, those pre made salads and things. Yeah, I'm, yeah, no, <laughs> no, not even happening. My dad's doing really well, thank you. Yeah, um, and we have we're getting the pod. So yeah, we, uh, Cat, Candy Cat says when you find your new house, it will be better. So stressful moving without actually having your next home. So I think these pods, even though it's going to cost an arm and a leg, I don't even want to think about it right now. But these pods, you know, we're, we've filled up this one. We're going to get it taken away, and then we're going to have another one delivered for the rest of the stuff. Um, Randy's going to take some stuff back up to the art. We have an apartment in Austin, so we've been splitting time between here and, and the apartment. So he's taking stuff up to the apartment. Yeah, I don't even know. I just, um, I forgot what I was saying. Absolutely forgot. Where, where was the thing I was, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so the pods, like everything's going to go in the pods and then they'll get taken away. And then once we get a place, we're just going to have the pods delivered. And I am hiring somebody to just take those things out and take them into the house because I'm done. You know, <laughs> I'm not doing it. So I just have to have, yeah, maybe it's lazy of me, but I'm just, oh. um, the kitties are still here. Yeah, the apartment, we just, we haven't paid the um, pet deposit yet. But once we are actually take them up there, then we'll, you know, we have to take the paperwork, the, you know, the vet records and all that, um, and pay the pet deposit. It's temporary. We'll, we'll make it work. So thank you. Oh, thanks about the hair. Oh, Corin, thank you. Yeah, I've been playing more and more with it and I'm loving it. I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? Because I was just getting so blah, always pulling my hair back in a ponytail. Um, 
And that was another thing too. Like I feel like, um, you know how you lose yourself sometimes. That I mean, it's just a whole nother thing. Like I feel like I'm slowly coming back into myself. I, when I was teaching, and I, I, I have a ride along. I did a garage sale ride along this weekend. Um, I haven't edited it or put it up yet, but I kind of talk in the in the ride along about how when I, a long time ago, many of you guys know, I used to teach swing dance, and I was really into like vintage stuff. And then I started teaching, and at first I, I just kind of kept my style, I kept my thing. But it slowly became like I felt uncomfortable or maybe people made comments about it or I don't know. So I just kind of lost myself. Um, when And then whenever I started staying home, I felt like, oh, I, I'm coming back into myself. And then I sort of lost myself again. You know, I I don't know. I think it happens. I think it's natural. And so, um, so yeah, I feel like, oh, I'm, I'm getting some of my – I'm, I'm, I'm determined to get my style back. I'm determined to I'm stop wearing yoga pants all the time and T-shirts and and actually start wearing things I like. So I did go through my closet and donated a ton of clothes, either that I just can't stand wearing, but I have because they fit and it's like easy. And, you know, but if I feel like every time I wear this dress, I feel dumpy, then, okay, it's gone. <laughs> so I'm definitely trying to get back to where I take care of myself and get back to where I like the way I look and I like the way I dress and I, I don't know. So I think you guys get it. It's getting there. It's getting there. So, but I think it happens to everybody. I mean, I did. And, and I'm trying to, this is another thing about the move. I'm trying to take it with a grain of salt because when we moved to Friendswood, where we are now, and when I started um, staying home with the kids, you know, Mikey was two and a half or three. James was just about to go into kindergarten. Um, I had this rosy ideal. Everything was like looking at it through rose-tinted glasses. You know, I was going to be staying home. I was going to make all these new friends. I was going to be in a PTA and volunteer at the school all the time and it was going to be just wonderful well there were aspects of that but I I didn't click with a lot of the people here I didn't click with a lot of I don't know like I didn't find I didn't find my tribe you know what I mean and I know we talk about us being a tribe but I mean it like I I I found like two or three ladies that live here that I really clicked with that got me that were like, okay, you're a freak, but I love you or you're a freak and I love you, you know? Um, and then a lot of other people that were just not at all. Uh, so yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what was I saying? No, I, I I'm trying to not go too rosy like and just expect that this is going to be the best thing ever. I'm going to find my lifelong friends and everything is good. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm trying to take it with a grain of salt. We're moving. I'm hoping that we find more people that we jive with, more people that we, you know, can. I don't know. I don't know. You know. So we'll see. Um, my spark will not be dampened. Thanks, Karin. Oh, I'm so glad to see you in there. Hi, Thelma Thrift. Hello. Oh, thanks for, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. And I bought a new curling iron. Uh, so I'm like, we're doing this. I, I want to start getting my nails done again. I painted them myself and they're already chipping, but I really want to go start getting my nails done again. It's something I enjoy. So I know, Dan, I'm wearing the yoga pants right now. No judge. We've been moving all day. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Kayla says, it seems like you downsize as much as you can. You still have a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I started taking boxes and boxes and boxes of my grandmother's stuff to my mom, who is not happy about that. Because <laughs> she's like, what am I going to do with all this? I was like, well, I can donate it. Or she's like, nope, just bring it. I'm okay. So <laughs> that's going on to moving companies the way to go. Also, oh, how's my husband doing with his new job? He really likes it a lot. 
I think he has found a place, you know, where he feels like he can spend many years and they appreciate their workers and it's a collab more collaborative where he was before um was more you don't ask for help you don't ask like if you don't know how to do your job like what's wrong with you i mean this is just kind of the vibe i got i'm not mentioning the company's they were, name they were more reactive than proactive more he says they were more reactive than proactive and he's he's sure. definitely yeah he he's the consummate consummate boy scout you know he he has to be prepared for all possible eventualities um so i think it's this engineering mind and boy scout mind where it's like these are the things that could happen let us prepare for them so that that we are ready if they do um and that wasn't you know and he's a you know he's a really social guy so his team really didn't talk or socialize together. They didn't really eat together. I think he would go downstairs and eat with like the ladies in human resources or something. Cause like his team didn't even eat lunch together and talk together. So um, it's important to him to, to like have a community and have people and I don't know. So he likes this now cause they do his team sits together. They talk, they, you know, I don't know. So he's really liking it. Um, Let's see, Karin says, yeah, loss of self is real and can be quite daunting. Hang in there, your spark will not be damp with eggs. Um, thanks, Murphy, the Esky. And that's, yeah, I wore my striped top today. I normally wear just solid color, so I'm trying to wrench out. I know, I need a beret. Oh, I think a beret would look super cute on this dude, don't you? I need a beret, honey. Like a raspberry beret? Like a raspberry beret, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah. Are you buying at a secondhand store? The, yes, the kind that, I don't find them at secondhand stores that much anymore. Or I would definitely buy them. In high school, I did. Um, I almost cut bangs. Uniquely, me says it's fun to reinvent yourself and improve. I just got bangs at 46 years old, and I've had bangs before. And I was talking to the lady when I got my hair cut, and I was like, "You think I should get bangs?" She's like, "Your forehead's too short for bangs. That'll look weird." I was like, "Thanks for your honesty. Let's not do the bangs." So. Um, we have not found a house yet. Every time I look for a house, I it, it sells. So the ma the market up there is really really fast. Um, it's really really fast. Uh, you're trying to be positive about everything. That's yeah, for sure. <laughs> Scientists need to get get on it and get transporters invented so we can all get together and have coffee. I agree, one witch lady. Or if like the wizarding world was real and we could all just learn to apparate and just like turn on the spot and poof, we're there, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not, is anyone selling one? No, no watches right here, no. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, all right, so let's see. I was going to say, and if you guys have made it this far, you probably already do, but I'm gonna ask anyway, um, oh, and I meant to ask at the beginning. I, I'm, I've got a goal, and as a, a you know collaborative type thing with you guys, uh, I need your help by sharing my videos and sharing my channel because I'm trying to get to where I can start getting uh, lots off of eBay or eBay UK, eBay France, somewhere you know, and to unbox. And so it would be helpful for me and for you, for us. Anyway, to, if you would share my video, share my channel to help get views and subscribers up. Um, but also, if you ha don't already, to follow me on Facebook. And I'm also on, oh, this is my Instagram. Y'all can tell I've been, so here's my Instagram. And then also we have a group called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. It's a free group. Um, gosh, I'm just going to talk. I guess I just need this. Um, so go go over there and join. Um, look, so yesterday I'm sitting in the closet trying to pack stuff up, and here's like, I'm just taking pictures. I'm like, okay, I'm amusing myself with this like little toy. I'm obviously not packing. I'm reminiscing is more like it, going through stuff. <laughs> so yeah, um, come follow me around over there <laughs> so I can, yeah. You need German... Army officers had to go with Penelope's accent. <laughs> oh, thanks, Seth, Southland and reseller. Um, okay, so now what else was I gonna talk about? 
there was some other stuff too. Let me get there. And I do have some questions that popped up in some of the in some of the videos. But okay, so coming up this week, we are doing a week in review. It's not just Margaret's therapy hour <laughs> where I get to like sit on the couch and y'all can play Dr. Freud for me. Um, so coming up this coming week, I'm gonna do another bolo video. I've got another video about um 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 um, um costume jewelry designers. I've done a couple videos where it was like 10 costume jewelry designers you need to know. I've done a couple of those. Well, I have another one I'm going to do. Um, and Bolo video. Also, got the ride along. And then I, oh, I forgot to pull this side up. Hang on, let me pull it up. Um, there is a book, oh my gosh, if I can pick it up, that I'm going to be doing a review on. So I'm just teasing it right now. Um, and there's a website for it, which I'll pull up in just a second, but it's called the Napier Co. book. So this is the Napier book by Melinda Lewis right here. Look at this big mamma jamma. So uh, sh some people in Jewelry Lovers were talking about the book, and I was like, I'm going to reach out to her because I want – oh, is it gone? Is the feed gone again? I'm going to keep going. It keeps doing weird things. Um, so I – People kept talking about the book, talking about it, and um, so I reached out to her because I was like, oh, wouldn't it be fun to do a, is it really frozen, y'all? Tell me in the chat because that's really going to bum me out. Hang on. No, it looks like it's still going. Okay, let me know in the chat. I don't know what's going on. Hang on. It was being weird last time. Okay, so... Do you have the book? Okay, so we were talking about it. So I reached out to Melinda and was like, hey, you know, everybody's talking about your book. You wanna come, like, let's do, I was gonna interview her and let's talk about this book. Um, and then I also said, why don't you, you know, if you send me a copy, I can review it, blah, blah, blah. So she's like, well, we're gonna do a, an interview and a talk about it later. Oh, good, thanks, you guys. I don't know what happened. Um, but she sent me the book to go ahead and do a review video for, and it's, I can't, I haven't even dug into it yet because I knew once I crack that open, you won't, <laughs> nobody around here is going to see me for a little while. Um, mine, and it came with a disc, a DVD. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this and I'll, I'll share the website too real fast, but this is not the review. So I'm going to, to be doing the review about it, uh, the Nate Beer book. Um, and I have it linked down below in case you want to like get good get a head start and look at it. But here's the website. I mean, just yeah. I, I didn't, there's a little video about it. Freed Napier DVD. It's 50 bucks. I mean, come on. It's I just can't wait. So, and that's one of the costume jewelry, you know, designers that I mean, just look at this book. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Okay, maybe tonight. I need to get a bottle of wine. <laughs> crack this puppy open no 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 okay so that's coming this week as well um hopefully because i don't want to i don't want to rush it and just do like a live video and flip through it and everything i really want to get some good footage and use my camera and make it nice because i think this book deserves it <laughs> it's really uh yeah it looks really really good okay froze for you too okay weird okay um also oh you you Murphy the Eskies says her DVD is really, really great. Make sure to watch that too. Okay, I will. Do I have a DVD player? Everything is everywhere right now, and my computer doesn't have a drive. Another thing was we talked the other day, and I had a few people message me about those. I was talking about the pink Doc Martens I had. Um, they're a little bit too big for me, and they need a little bit of cleanup. But overall, they're in good shape. And I had a few people saying, I need, you know, let me know about these docs, um, but I, I couldn't remember who. So I was like, I'm just going to pull them out and show them. So these are the docs I never listed because I kept hoping my feet would fit in them. But these are they. I mean, they need a little bit of cleanup. But overall, they're in pretty good shape. These are the soles on them. So if it was you, let me know because they're amazing. Um, I got them. I don't know. I can't remember where I got them. A garage sale probably. Um, yeah. So speaking of docs, I just bought a pair of docs off of uh, – Ray, right? Oh, I hope I say your name right. Um, for me. What oh what size are they? Good, good, good. I think they are size, I think they're size eight and regular. So they're size UK six, right? So that's I think equates to a size eight. 
because I'm a size five in UK, which is a size seven. So this is the big, tall, pink boots. Yeah. Um, please let us know where you sell your... <coughs> okay, that's a good um, segue into the questions. Thanks for keeping me on track, Teresa. Teresa. Um, well, I sell jewelry best on eBay and Etsy. It just depends. It just depends. So way too small. What size are you? Because they're like a size eight in, in American. Yeah, it says size six, but that's UK size. Because they're I'm a size seven, and they're like a size too big for me. So, or else they they stay in here. <laughs> um, size ten. Oh, um, yeah. So I sell on both. It just it just kind of depends. I list on both different times of year. Different times of year, um, it sells better on Etsy. Like in Q4, things tend to do better on Etsy for me. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Debbie says, I'm a US size 7, too big for me. Do you count watches as jewelry? I do. I do. I'm, I'm, I have my um, box of watches that we're going to dive into after we move and get settled in. So James saw, because I was sorting the jewelry into tubs to take and pack up, and... He saw the big tub full of watches because I saved them all. Because I figured even if they were not worth anything, I would do a steampunk lot with all the, you know, springs and gears and stuff. I don't know. I guess I'm a hoarder. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Okay. So questions that have come in um, on some of the videos lately. Oh, I thought I, okay, hang on. I must have refreshed. So, um, sorry, I'm reading the questions, making sure I understand it. So, uh, Wilted Magnolia says, I like the treasure hunt. I would like to see more videos of what sold yours and other group members, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we do have that coming up. So, Bolo video this week. And I, I had somebody else mention, I was asking like what video I should do on a particular day. And they're like, I want to see your solds. Well, right now nothing is sold because I'm moving and all my stores are on vacation. I would like to see solds too, but soon. Once we're out of this house and just in the apartment, I'm going to start activating my store again. So, um, yeah. Deb, I did it at the very beginning. I can't, yeah, I'll have to go back and see who the person was. I can't remember. Is that bad? Um, they raised question. Oh, okay. That was not actually a question, question. Okay. So Canadian Mama Life asked, we'd love to see an updated video on how you take pictures. I can definitely do that. Um, I have one where it's like there's a picture of me and then like some pieces of jewelry and it, it's a... Uh, um, how to take pictures for eBay and Etsy. I don't remember what it's called. Um, and I will do a new workroom tour when we get to the new house, yeah. So, oh gosh, I, I'm i trying to read the questions and I'm, meh. I don't know if I'm into it. I, it's so bad. Huh. Um, are there any questions in the chat? Because well, then I can, I don't know. I think I need, I don't want to just like half, halfway do the questions because I feel like eh, eh. Um, Debbie in the comments or on one of the question questions said what made you start hunting for jewelry and selling and um, well I've always loved jewelry my grandmother and my mom had very specific things that they like my grandmother never got rid of anything she had all my great grandmother's jewelry hers I mean down to the plastic beads and everything that she never threw anything away. So all of that. And then um, when I started going out reselling or trying to source for set reselling, going to garage sales and things, um, I p started picking up men's accessories when I found them. And that definitely was my gateway into reselling jewelry because I felt like it was a, like a bite size, something I could learn about. Because it could be really daunting trying to learn about all jewelry, but men's accessories was something really, something you could really focus on easily, and I I liked it and did well with it. So, 
Oh, wow. Kayla says, just sold an old 1999 box of crayons I got at Goodwill. Uh, sold it for 30 bucks. That's great. Um, with some Father's Day on the horizon, how about some videos about men's jewelry? Okay, that sounds good. And we've done some. I, I interviewed Lynn from the Thai chest and the Cufflink King, David. He was amazing. All his pictures on Instagram are so good, too. Um, Chris says, I'd like to see you and the husband and kids make a road trip and do a live show. <laughs> That'd be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of poking around some of the old towns up there and seeing what we see in some of the antique stores, even if I can't buy anything. Um, but it's really fun to go poking around in, in other people's, I don't know, it's different. You find different things in stores out there. You could do tips on how to sell men. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. I like the ins and outs about vid. Uh, interesting to see what people sell. The thrill of bargain hunting. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, you guys. I'm feeling like I don't know. I'm losing my steam, and I'm I can feel myself tanking, and I really don't want to uh, inflict that on it, on you. I'm trying to keep it real and upbeat, but yeah um so yeah i don't want to have uh don't have a panic attack right here on camera um because i just don't so i'm gonna call it for now um go over there give this a thumbs up or not and if you are new here it is not always like this but um sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's real and so, go drunk dumpster diving dances. That's a maybe. <laughs> I'll put that on the maybe on the maybe pile. Okay, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm sorry to, to end abruptly, but um, I'll see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, everybody.